Grayson, what uh, how how's your health? Uh, do you feel uh, do you feel 100 percent right now? Yeah, 100 um, percent. You know, so far, so good. Um, we've had a good off season so far, um, obviously getting the month of October. Uh, and then here we are halfway through November. So uh, off season training has been good. And, you know, it's all I can ask for. Steve Molesky. Hey, Grace, and no shock you were at it, obviously. But what does it mean for your career and, and, and what are your thoughts uh, going into next season, which obviously could be your first at the big league level. Can you say that again? Sorry, I missed it. Uh, I say, what what is your reaction to getting on the 40-man? Obviously, we all expected it. I'm sure you did too. Uh, what does it mean for your career? And what are your thoughts on going into next year and having a chance to uh, pitch at the big league level? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously, it's an honor uh, to get put on anybody's 40-man, uh, especially ours. So I'm uh, pretty excited, pretty pumped up for it. Um, you know, I can't wait for spring training. Um, and really, you know, just looking forward to what this year has in store. Um, just getting back out there and throwing the baseball. Nathan Ruiz. Hey, Grayson. How did you find out that your season was over, that you weren't going to get called up to the majors this year? And I guess just how, how did you kind of take that news? Um, you know, I mean, obviously not getting the call, I guess, kind of tell, let you know that your season's over, but I mean, you know, I was, I was waiting for it. Um, it didn't come. So, I mean, obviously from a player's perspective, you know, it's pretty disappointing. Um, but you know, all you can do is look, look forward uh, to the next opportunity. Yeah. Conley. First of all, happy birthday. Were you planning on spending your birthday this way? <laughs> um, you know, really y'all aren't bothering me. So it's been a good birthday so far. Uh, you know, obviously just turned 23. So excited about that. Uh, now, now to the real question, um, going into this spring training, would it be a disappointment if you did not break camp? Do you think with the Orioles this year for you personally? Uh, me personally? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's full speed ahead. Um, you know, obviously we're focused on the big leagues, um, of course, injury kind of derailed it last year. Um, but, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, that's that's definitely uh, in my in my focus. Stan Charles. Grayson, first of all, I didn't expect to see you at Ben McDonald's house there. That looks like what Ben's house would look like with the deer up there. Uh, happy birthday to you. Just wondering now that we're past the pandemic for more or less uh, good. Uh, how did that impact your early career in terms of being built up innings wise to take on a job as a major league starting pitcher? Repeat that again. I, th I think my wife has a little. That's slow. all right. Uh, Sorry. In retrospect now with the pandemic past us, how did it impact your ability to get ramped up innings wise to be really ready for this opportunity okay so obviously yeah missing uh 2020 um you know being shut down from no baseball activity and stuff uh missed you know some innings on the mound uh that would have been my second full season in pro ball um and then obviously getting to go to the alt site and stuff and having simulated innings there but you know i think I think there's a good and a bad to both of it. Uh, the good is, you know, saving innings. You know, I mean, obviously it was a good little reset for pitchers' arms. And then, of course, I guess the 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 bad part is, you know, missing out on the experience. So in terms of health, I think, you know, we made it through all right. Um, having a full season in 2021, the year after. Uh, but, you know, I mean, really, I guess it was it, – there was a good and bad to both of it. I know the club will have an idea of this too, but where do you think you could pencil yourself in comfortably to, to pitch this year innings wide? Uh, you know, that's up to them. Uh, that's something that's out of my control. Um, you know, there's a, a lot of important people that, that we have uh, that work for the Orioles that uh, get to determine that. And uh, if it was up to me, it would be as many as I could throw, but uh, you know, so we, I'll, uh, I'll figure that out when we get to spring training. Nathan Ruiz. Grayson, what, what does this offseason look like for you in terms of development? What kind of things are you working on? Um, you know, right now, focusing on the lat, getting it stronger. Um, 
you know, overall just health, uh, you know, obviously in the weight room, making sure the body's right, going into spring training. Um, you know, I guess anything that the Orioles will see fit from bullpen videos, uh, mechanic wise, you know, working, working that speed. But, uh, you know, right now just making sure, uh, we get, we get a good base in the weight room. Rich Zubroff. Hey, uh, Gray, uh, Grayson, how difficult was it? Was it watching, knowing that you were about to be called up uh, when you had the injury? Um, yeah, it's tough. Uh, obviously, was close. Um, and then, you know, getting sidelined there for a little bit. Um, I'd say it's tough to watch, but also, you know, I, I watch the Orioles games every night. You know, there's a lot that you can learn from on TV uh, just watching those guys play. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a tough situation no matter – uh, you know, when you're, when you're injured or anything like that, but, uh, just, you know, like I said, got through it just watching a lot of baseball. Steve Molesky. Grayson, I remember late in the year, maybe it was in Aberdeen. You told us the first couple months last year was the best you'd ever thrown in, in pro ball. What, what made it that? Was it something that specifically improved over previous or, or what, uh, what made it that for you? Uh, I think it's just a little, uh, added experience, uh, that being, you know, I guess my third year, my third full season in pro ball, um, kind of really understanding your strengths and your weaknesses. The Orioles have done a good job of, you know, getting the information on me and, and, uh, you know, what I do the best, um, and going out and using that each and every start. Um, and I'd say just, you know, getting a little bit older, uh, getting a little bit smarter with the game. Stan Charles. Grayson, if you had one part of your game that you think you need to improve upon, what would it be? Um, you know, everything. I mean, I could sit here and list everything. You know, obviously, uh, this is a, a big project that's nowhere near complete. Um, you know, maybe we'll look back at that on the end of my career and, and see that, you know, that we were good. But, uh, you know, right now, all aspects of the game, uh, mechanics, uh, pitch movement, speed, velocity, everything, uh, that's, that's what we're working on. 